It's time for a visit about the big class reunion, and we're talking Edson, Goodland, Canarado, and Ruralton, the Sherman County Alumni Association. With me today is Jason Showalter. Jason, you're kind of the leader of all this. How's it going? And let's get some specific dates. First, when is this big event? Curtis, the, the reunion this year is June 30th through July 2nd. We've got a whole host of plans that are set in place right now. We've been working on them for the last couple of years, and we're ready for what, I'm, what I've been calling the, the biggest family reunion uh, in the last five years for us. Well, it will be, and I know you've had some team members to help out too. Yeah, absolutely. i got a lot of great committee members that have been working on different parts and pieces of the reunion. I just met with the group that was working on the assembly last night. They had a good meeting at Shiraz trying to get uh, you know the last parts and pieces that you know have been kind of escaping us for a little bit, get those all set. And we've got about 90 uh, alumni members that are going to take part in the assembly alone. So it's, it's a big deal. There's a lot of things going on. Well, it is, especially when you get people coming in from out of town and you're kind of rousing up the people that are in the area that uh, need to be here. So that's exciting. Well, let's get everything going. We'll start on Thursday, June 30th. Let's get that line up. So, you know, we're excited. One of the most, uh, uh, one of the best parts for me is really our registration. So our registration opens at nine o'clock on Thursday morning at the Max Jones. And it's really a chance for the the alumni that have either pre-registered or if you haven't registered to come in and meet with us i get a chance to meet uh, all the people from the different classes that are coming in uh to to register for the event it gives us a chance to kind of say hello and talk about the the different events that are going on uh, but we have uh different graduates that'll sit and work that table and kind of welcome everybody as they come in but we'll be in the in the front of the max that morning um, and that's also when our golf tournament starts too so you can come register at registration and then head out to the golf course at 7.30, and that's when the first uh, part of the shotgun kind of start uh, kicks off out there. And then uh, Dragon Main, we're going to do that at 7 o'clock that night, um, get all the old cars and everybody out on Main Street just like they used to uh, and get get a chance to meet and talk with everybody. Thursday wraps up with uh, the movie Goodland that was produced by Josh Doak, uh, Goodland High School graduate, and they're going to show that at the Sherman Theater at 7 o'clock that night on Thursday. Well, I've just finished my uh, 50th year class reunion, and uh, we had a blast. We had 82 in our class, and I think 52 showed up, so that's pretty good. And, of course, we, like any class, lost several members, and we remember those. And that's the same thing with all the uh, reunion for Sherman County Alumni Association. We remember those great classmates that we had and friends that uh, have gone beyond yeah, absolutely. And we'll pay pay our respects to the the servicemen and women from Goodland High School and the Sherman County Alumni Association that that passed away. We'll do that at the uh, assembly uh, on Saturday morning. So we're excited about that too. All right, Curtis Duncan and Jason Showalter here on the Rockingham Radio Network. Friday, July first, man, that's going to be one busy day. That is that is the really the day that really kicks us off. So we're going to start that morning with the last round of the golf tournament. And then uh, Paul Sutton, he's a, a Goodland High School graduate that won an Emmy for some productions that he did. Um, he uh, actually produced a documentary called Growing Up Goodland, and they're going to show that at the, at the Sherman County Theater uh, at 1.30 on Friday. So we're excited to kind of see the premiere of that. He's been working on it for the last year. Uh, you know, members of the community have helped him get clips and stuff for that to get that set up. So he's, he's ready to rock and roll on that. Then at 2.30 at the high school, uh, we're going to have a teacher's reception, so all the old teachers that have come in, you'll get a chance to come in and sit down and have some cake and ice cream with them and, and tell them how much you appreciated their service to the high school, and, and uh, so we're excited about that too. Uh, the high school will also be open for tours, so for our graduates who haven't been back to Goodland for a long time, there's of course been a lot of updates and remodels. Uh, the new principal, Shane Holleran, is going to give some tours of the building and, and get a chance to kind of interact with those graduates. Um, the Edson meet and greet is also on Friday. That'll start at 4 o'clock at Bateman's Funeral Home. Um, that runs from 4 to until 8 o'clock. So if you're an Edson graduate, you can meet up over there. And then the Sherman County uh, Community Services have been gracious enough to open up the carnival for us. And from 4 to 7 p.m., they're going to be running the carnival rides. That'll be purchased separately from the reunion registration. You can get a wristband for $10 and take your kids out there. We don't have a lot of kid-friendly activities, but that's kind of one of those that was important for us to get set up. So if we have families that come in and they want to take their kids out and experience the home on Carnival, that'll be open uh, on Friday evening. And then, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, July 1st. Yep, July 1st. So we'll also, you know, v at various times on Friday and Saturday, 
uh, the different classes will be having their class parties. And if you're interested in knowing where your class party is at, we've got that on our website at shermancountyalumni.com. Any class that's registered with us, um, we're listing those there so you can find it. Okay. That, that evening at 8 o'clock, uh, we have uh, a beer garden that we're going to run on the Northwest Tech soccer field. So with your paid registration, just bring your lanyard over there. You get in for free, and uh, you can hang out at the beer garden. And then at 9 o'clock on Friday evening, we're going to have a band at the Elks. So at 9 o'clock, Lost Wax, uh, David Fairbanks Band is going to play um, at the Elks Lodge. So they'll play from 9 until midnight that night. And that busyness wraps up our Friday. Okay. What about Saturday? What do we have going Saturday at the big Sherman County Alumni Reunion? So Saturday, uh, you know, starts our last day. We're going to kick off at 7 o'clock in the morning, and the GAC is going to host a 5K run walk. That gets us kicked off. And then, of course, we've got we'll finish up the last bit of registration. So if you hadn't had a chance to register or, you know, or just getting in on Saturday, you can register at 8 o'clock in the morning starting at the Max Jones. And then kind of our, our big, uh, you know, big uh, celebration at 10 o'clock in the morning we're going to have our assembly so that's where we have you know 90 graduates that are going to participate we do a lot of skits um, we'll do different uh, different acting things it's going to be a good time and it's going to be a chance for for you to kind of uh, see what the max jones is like full and uh, it's it's going to be a blast so right after that uh, the sherman county community foundation is going to serve a free barbecue they're going to do that on the uh, football field right there behind the max jones so free with your paid registration, you can get a, a hamburger or hot dog. And then our Edson graduates are going to have their uh, registration and, and re, or, uh, assembly at noon over at Bateman's Funeral Home. So if you've been an Edson graduate, you can swing on over there. Um, and then that night is going to be our, our final event at 8 o'clock. We've got two bands that are going to play at the fairgrounds. We've got Annie Up and Jimmy D are going to play. We've got two opposite stages on the end of the pavilion, then they're going to kind of play back and forth. One band's going to play a song, they're going to switch and, and play the other one. That's no alcohol served there, but it's BYOB. Uh, so come on out to the fairgrounds, and that'll wrap us up for that weekend. Wow. And there's, now, how, this is expensive to do some of this. Where does the money come from? So the money that we raise and that we, that we operate on for the entire five years in between reunions comes all from registration fees. So well, the money that you pay goes to fund this event, and then the money that we have left over goes all the uh, scholarships to graduating Goodland High School seniors uh, over the next five years. So usually, by the time that five years is up, all that money has been expended and we're ready for a, another reunion. But we don't do any other fundraisers. It's the only one that we do, so that's uh, that's where your registration fees go. All right, the big events, Sherman County Alumni Association celebrating Edson. Goodland, Canarado, and Ruralton schools, the uh, big wing ding, that's going to be so much fun. And I, I really recommend not only for this one, but any school reunion, if you can do it, go to it. Uh, it's, it's the last time you're going to see some of these people. And let's be real, it will be. Uh, others you might see again because they live in your city or live in your part of the country. But it's so good to see and wrap your arms around somebody uh, when it's not so crazy COVID time and say, hey, I love you i haven't seen you for so good for so long you look good and of course the biggest lie is you haven't changed <laughs> yeah absolutely we, you know curtis we were just looking at our numbers yesterday we were over 850 people for pre-registrations uh, we're halfway there we expect around 2,000 people in town this weekend so you know if you're a business owner or you're going to be out and about in the community come out and welcome all these graduates there's going to be a lot of people back right and they're going to fill the hotels and enjoy their spending the money in town absolutely we're excited to see them and welcome them back to town good what's your web page again jason www.shermancountyalumni.com all right. Good luck. Ruralton, Canarado, Goodland, Edson, the Sherman County Alumni Association Reunion, Thursday, June 30th, Friday the 1st, and Saturday the 2nd. Thank you to you and your team, and we'll certainly welcome all our friends to uh, the Goodland, Sherman County area with wide open arms. Appreciate your time, Curtis. Thank you.